If you're just getting into anime and manga, you might run into a conversation where someone just starts throwing out random words and all you can think is, what'd you call my mother? I know, because I've personally been there. So, to get you started, here's three simple terms that every anime fan should know to survive the landscape of weeaboo culture. Mangaka. Mangaka literally means manga artist in Japanese, and is usually used to refer to the creator of the series. For example, Gega Agatami is the mangaka for Jujutsu Kaisen. When talking about mangaka, sometimes people like to address them as sensei but with a twist. Koyoharu Gotoke, the creator of Demon Slayer, represents themselves as a crocodile for example, so fans like to call them Croc Sensei. And some of the most beloved mangaka in the anime community include Hirohiko Araki, Junji Ito, and Eiichiro Oda. Isekai when I first got back into watching anime, people were throwing out this word like crazy and I had no idea what people were talking about. But an isekai is a genre where a character, through one means or another, is suddenly transported into another world. There's actually two types of isekai, isekai teni and isekai tensei. Isekai teni refers to a simple transportation from one world to another, usually through a tunnel or a portal. Oddly enough, the Super Mario Bros. movie is an isekai, so a lot of people were memeing about that on Twitter. Isekai Tensei is when a character dies and is reincarnated into another universe, usually with their memories still intact. You may have heard of the meme Truck-kun? If you haven't, it's basically referring to the fact that a lot of isekais like to kill off their characters that get transported via a truck in the middle of the road. So much so that they've basically become their own character at this point. Some of my favorite isekais are The Devil is a Part-Timer and Parallel World Pharmacy. And the last term we'll talk about today is Shonen. Shonen is technically a genre of anime and manga, but it covers a very broad demographic. Shonen is a genre of anime and manga that appeals to younger boys, and it literally translates to boy or youth. Some major examples include Naruto, My Hero Academia, and Jujutsu Kaisen. Westerners also like to throw out the term shonen as a way to describe the quality of an anime. For example, people bash on Demon Slayer and call it a typical shonen because it relies on high action and a relatively simple plot to keep the audience invested. An important thing to note is that a lot of the most popular anime and manga are shonens. I'd definitely be pressed to find someone that didn't start off with either One Piece, Naruto, My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, the list can go on forever. Well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned something new, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe, or hit the bell icon to get notifications when new videos come out. Let me know if there's other topics you want me to cover, but otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.